All right, so we're going to use the distributive property today. So starting in the middle, distributive property to distribute the sum by a number, multiply each add-in by the number outside the parentheses. So three times 20 plus three times 15. When numeric or algebraic expressions are written as a product of their factors, the pr process is called factoring the expression. We're going to skip this first part, and we're going to move to the second one. Use the distributive property to rewrite 5 times the sum of 9 and x. So I'm going to rewrite that. So I've got to do 5 times 9, which gives us 45. Bring down your sign. And then you've also got to distribute 5 to x, which is 5 times x, which gives us 5x. Moving to the bottom left. Now, we don't multiply on this one, so we've got to pull something back out. So I need to find my... So on this one, we're going to have to find the greatest common factor of 14. And then 14 and 28. So we set up our factor trees. So our factors of 14 are 1 and 14. 2 and 7, factors of 28, 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7, which gives us the greatest common factor of 14. So I can pull that out of my problem. So 14 times what would give me 14? 1, bring down the same sign. 14 times what gives me 28? That would be 2. And you're done with that problem. Factor 3x plus 15, so I need to find my factors of 3 and my factors of 15. My factors of 3 are going to be 1 and 3. Factors of 15 would be 1 and 15, 3 and 5, which would give me my greatest common factor of 3. So I can pull 3 out of that problem. So 3 times what gives me 3x? That would be x or 1x. Bring down the same sign. 3 times what would give me 15? That would be 3 and you're done. Make sure you glue this in your notebook.